guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to go through tons of MAC lipsticks for um, my skin tone I guess so um, when it comes to MAC products like I would say um, I'm an NC42 so some of the lipsticks that I'm gonna actually show you and I'm gonna try on you are not just for NC42 people but also NC45 so it's anyone in that sort of um, you know olive skin to sort of darker skin tone you can all pull off these looks it just depends on the kind of lip liner that you use so why are lip liners important lip liners um, don't only just define your lips um, but they also stop the lipstick from bleeding so it it's quite important and sometimes what I what it does also is change the shape of your lip so if you feel like you have slightly um, pigmented lips you can use lip liners to kind of um, you know uh, like sort of change the color correct it basically change the color tone of your lipstick and then put the lipstick on top because obviously for somebody that has slightly darker lips to somebody that has lighter lips the lipstick will look different um, and on top of that I find you know if you have like maybe a smaller upper lip and a bigger uh, lower lip you might want to draw the liner a little bit above your natural lip line just to kind of balance it out so i think you know it's very very important to have a lip liner alongside your lipstick as well so one of my favorite nudes um is persistence and the great thing with persistence is it looks a little bit more brown on me but it would look a lot more nude on somebody that's slightly more darker skin tone so persistence mac so it's just kind of like a nudie brown I hope you can tell and it will look a much much nuder whereas this looks still a little bit dark but it's like a nude brown rather than pink or peach or whatever velvet teddy so this one is a nude but it has um, sort of like a purpley pink tone to it as you can see so it's quite nude do you know what surprisingly this looks really really nice on somebody with a slightly darker skin complexion as well because um, you know you can go really smoky on the eyes and then this nude right now I look washed out so this color on its own does not look very nice it looks really really nice if you have a slightly darker um, eye so I wouldn't even say liner I would say it needs to be a smoky eye look um, and in terms of clothes I would go for um, cool tones as well so I wouldn't wear anything red or orange with this this one is probably one of my this one's probably one of my favorites like absolute favorites it's twig from Mac as well it gives you a pink straight away but it's not even like a bright pink it's kind of a nude pink it's sort of like a um, a purpley pink so cooler it's not um, very baby pink if that makes sense so I wear this a lot and you'd be surprised I use this on a lot of my brides so this is like a a color that absolutely suits every skin complexion it looks so strong on my lips but you can imagine for somebody with a darker skin complexion it's such a pretty uh, nude pink so this is really really nice it goes really nicely with white dresses um you know everyday work whatever you want like this is definitely an everyday sort of color so i would say this and persistence are probably the two that i would recommend you to have in your kit or you know just in your purse or whatever another lipstick that i would uh, add to this category would be mare um and it's a nude pink again as well so this i would say would probably suit you know nc42 nc43 but then you know the the ones that are slightly um with a lighter complexion so you know nc40 whatever and lighter just because it's it's sort of like a pastely pink more like see I never wear it on its own all over I find this a bit too it washes me out quite a lot because it's very very bluish so I don't particularly like it on its own what I do is if I do wear it I kind of dab it on and then I use lip liner a slightly darker lip liner around it just to kind of keep it a little bit looking um, subtle and nude and not very very strong because right now all I can see is I don't know I just feel like a Barbie doll right now like this is too bright for me um, and this is not a color that I use a lot on people but um, if you are my skin complexion like my sort of skin tone or lighter this is definitely a color that you would absolutely love 
People who might have followed me for a really long time know that my absolute favorite red lipstick is Ruby Woo. So this is a nice red. It's um, It's got blue tones to it, so it's kind of like a bright red. I'm really sorry about my dad doing the, um, the grass, like he's cutting the grass right now, but who cares? Lipstick is more important. So can you see? I genuinely felt like as soon as I've put this on, it's brightened up my entire complexion. And I think on Asian skin, Ruby Woo looks really, really nice no matter what skin, um, comp like whether your, you know, your skin tone is deeper. I always try and be very careful not to like use any like um, inappropriate words and I don't want to offend anybody, but anyone, no matter what skin complexion you are, like this color does actually suit you and brightens up your complexion as well. And when I say brightens, I'm not saying it's going to make you look fairer, like, no. Uh, I'm talking about like nice, bright, you know, healthy, glowy, that kind of thing. Um, it's mainly because it has the blue tones. So because it has the blue tones, I feel like it really picks up on our undertones and it just kind of like really brightens up everything. You can go for warmer tones. So if you, if you prefer something that's more orangey i would say um russian red from mac is a really nice color as well i prefer the brighter look like um something that brightens up so in the red tone family i also want to introduce lady danger so this is quite nice because it's um it's actually an orange but it's like a red orange so it's a nice orange i would say um so you have to style quite carefully with this. I don't think everyone can pull off Lady Danger. You have to be able to... I see Lady Danger as something quite dangerous. More sort of, um, you know, out, like really out there. Like really retro, funky, confident and that kind of thing. So it's, it's like a really cool um, lipstick to have as well. If you are not comfortable wearing it all over, do wear it with a darker red lip liner. That way you won't have to use a lot of this color. Like, you have to really be confident to pull this off. That's all I'm gonna say to this color. D for Danger is one of my current favorites. I think D for Danger is a really, really nice color for an evening out or even autumn, winter. It's just like such a deep sort of red. This to me is autumn in a lipstick. It's just so nice and again, it has the cool tone so I feel like it still gives me that sort of bright complexion and it has the berry tone. So it's not, it is still red but it, it's almost like a, um, like a berry red but a really deep berry red if that makes sense because I wouldn't still regard this as burgundy. Like I think this is still quite um, bright for burgundy but um, it's in that family. So I think this is a really nice red to have for sure, like no matter, again, what skin complexion you are, I think this color does suit everybody. And I do know quite a lot of my clients who do have this in, um, you know, in their makeup bag and it's like everyone's favorite usually because this kind of goes with, um, it suits everyone. Another color that I use on my uh, clients a lot as well, which I think is quite nice because it's it's sort of like a nudie brown slash red. So if you're kind of in between, you don't want a bright red, but at the same time, you don't want to go really nude because it doesn't suit you. Um, chili is a really, really nice color because it's almost like a, can you see the color? It's kind of like orange, brown, and red all sort of mixed together. So it's kind of like an in-between. It looks quite orange on me, like, like a deep orange, almost kind of like a burnt orange. You know, that's the kind of color that I would call it. Now imagine this on somebody with a darker skin complexion. It looks absolutely stunning. So I would say, yeah, if you're not brave enough to go red, um, you know, I would say definitely try this. You would really, really, really enjoy it. I really like it. It's nice. It's a, it's it's a it's definitely a nice autumn color. So I really like wearing it during autumn and winter, and it definitely suits a lot of saris. So this is quite a really nice color as well. A new red that I've discovered, which is quite dark as well, is called Studded Kiss. This I absolutely love. Oh my god. This reminds me of a lip color that um, Ashraya Rai wears all the time. It's kind of like a really sort of um, dirty red, <laughs> but it's so nice. And I feel like, you know, it's, um, I wouldn't say it's brightened up my skin complexion. Like I feel a lot more warmer and tanned. It's giving me that look, but I think it's really, really nice, especially if you're not doing anything on the eyes and it's just like, just the sort of this color lip and with the dark hair, it just looks amazeballs. 
I like this color. So when I say pink, I'm talking about like proper fuchsia pinks and pinks, you know, like real pinks. And I know Asians, like we love pink lipstick. I think we, I don't know, if you, if you look at Bollywood, Tamil films, whatever, pink is like, yes, it's regarded as fresh and young and playful and whatever. Funnily enough, I don't have that many pinks. I have two pink colors that I wear and that's it. Like I am not a huge fan of pink lipsticks. I think I was going through a phase when I was like 14, 15, but since then I don't really like wearing pink. And you, again, it really depends the kind of clothes that you wear and the makeup that you wear and the hair and stuff for, it, for you to be able to pull off. But one color that I do wear a lot, like I did say I have two, um, is all fired up. All fired up is absolutely amazing because it's like a red pink. And again, it has blue tones, so it really brightens up your complexion as well. Yeah, do I need to say much? Like this has brightened up my face again. Can you see? It's just like, um, obviously I don't have any eye makeup on and stuff, but um, the rest of the face kind of looks pale, but um, with the right eye makeup, it, it would look really, really nice. I sometimes wear this lip liner, um, the lipstick with a red lip liner just to kind of tone it down a little bit so it's not as pink. But again, this is another very, very big favorite for a lot of my brides who wear pink saris. This is the color that I usually put on them rather than like a bright pink. Because I think another bright pink that a lot of people like is Girl About Town. And Girl About Town to me is too bubblegum pink and I don't think it looks very classy personally. I just find this lip because it's matte as well it looks really really great on brides clients like whatever so I sometimes wear it a lot like I find see even the color tones that I'm wearing like white and beige and stuff like it, it looks so good and it it just like gives me that oomph to my outfit you know so um oomph. the other pink lipstick that I have I wouldn't really call it pink, I call it more berry. And Rebel is a lipstick that honestly every, every skin complexion can wear and pull off and it looks super nice. And see, it looks very purple, but when it comes on, it goes very, very sort of um, berry. See again, you see, it looks more berry. Um, and it's really nice and it looks really nice on everybody like I said and you can do um, you can do a darker lip liner if you want with this as well we're going really dark and as you can see my lips are just like almost bruised from like trying on lipsticks and just like wiping them all off so they 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 got a little bit stained from some of the lipsticks but not to worry. So one is called Antique Velvet. So I like this color because again, it's like reddish brown. Okay, I know it looks quite grunge, but um, can you see it has that red undertone? So it's kind of like a red, like a really, 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 really black red. Like, you know, it's like a really dark color. So it's quite nice. I think it's quite nice for um, you know, autumn, winter sort of thing. It's probably not everyone's cup of tea, but if you do like really dark browns and you're a slightly darker, not even slightly, but darker skin complexion even, I think you would really like this. For me, I think it's, um, I do wear it occasionally. No, rarely, but I do like it. It's, um, I, I feel it's a color that you just have to have. And then when you just feel really sort of like, oh, I'm gonna kill somebody, you wanna wear this. And another one that's really, really dark, and um, I don't know, I just had to have it, was Instigator. And that's like a really dark purple. I'm sure a lot of you are looking at the screen right now and they're like, what the? I get it, I get it. My teeth look extremely white though in this. But um, see, I would just wear it with white. I probably wouldn't wear it with any other color. I don't think I personally would have the guts with it. Um, but uh, I think this is the second time I'm wearing this. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the two dark colors that I do own. Um, you know, Antique Velvet and uh, Instigator. And you, it just has to be your personality. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked my own selection of um, MAC lipsticks that I think will actually suit everybody else. Like every, 
you know, especially Asian skin tones. And I think a lot of people do usually struggle with um, the lipsticks and they always ask me, always ask me like what kind of lipsticks to recommend. These would be my own favorites um, that I personally think suits everybody. So if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and you know, leave feedback. Do not forget to subscribe and share. Oh,